almost time to hit the river and go paddling or rafting. Our reporter Jaron Alex was at the boat launch at Los Colonias in Grand Junction to tell us about how the water conditions are out there. I wouldn't jump into the water just yet, even with the life jacket on. The current is strong and it only gets stronger the farther west you go. One more, one more. For many on the western right slope, here. the thrill of riding the Colorado River can't seem to arrive soon enough. But if you're thinking of enjoying the water, you'll definitely need a life jacket. Every year about this time, as temperatures heat up, that snow in the mountains begins to melt. That's what we're seeing coming down, and those river levels are coming up because of it. Now, the water is fast, the water is cold. When water is moving past 3,000 cubic feet per second, that's when water conditions can get dangerous. According to data from the National Weather Service, the Colorado River near Palisade is moving at nearly 8,000 cubic feet per second. And if you go farther west near the Utah border, the water on the West Water River Run is moving at 17,000 cubic feet per second. If you aren't wearing a life jacket in these conditions, it can become deadly. Most of the emergencies that we respond to every year are with people not wearing a life jacket. Having a life jacket near you isn't good enough. It needs to be physically on you. That's what protects you. Having said that, we respond frequently when people aren't wearing life jackets. If somebody gets in trouble on a river trip or you see somebody in distress in the water, you need to call 911. The National Weather Service forecasts water conditions should get stronger in the coming week. We asked water sports experts at the Wet Dreams River Supply Company in Grand Junction, if they would brave the water with current conditions. Personally, absolutely, yes. But if it's your first time getting out there, I would say wait a couple of weeks until it starts dying down again. The Grand Junction Fire Department advises people before getting into the river, always check water conditions, never go alone, use watercraft and equipment designed for the river, and to always wear a life jacket. At the Colorado River, I'm Gerald and Alex reporting. If you want to check river conditions and local weather data, links to where that information can be found is on our website. The drawdown.